What's up, nerds? We are your hosts. I am Jake. And I'm Chad. This week, we are continuing our sponsor and collaboration with Nordic Brewing uh, here in Monticello, Minnesota. And we're also sponsored, as always, by Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. We're going to be talking about Ahsoka. Episode, is it episode five? Yeah, episode five. Oh, episode five. Uh, five. Uh, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. And then we're going to do a little bit of a recap of season one of Loki, uh, also streaming on Disney Plus in anticipation for season two dropping in about two and a half weeks. So let's get into it. This is the All Things Nerd Podcast. Thank Welcome back, nerds, to the All Things Nerd podcast, your weekly dive into all things nerd. Chad, Chadley, Chadenheim. How was your week? Chadenheim, that one's new. Yeah. Uh, my week was fine. Didn't do anything. Nothing of note. No, I'm just kidding. It was... Uh... I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's written right here. Yeah. You did... <laughs> uh, two of my best friends and huge supporters of the show uh steven and shalone <laughs> did you see my dog just ram her face into the ground in the background <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you just turn your chair a little bit i'm pretty sure she's still doing it oh she knows you're talking about her <laughs> she does <laughs> oh that's funny uh <laughs> steven and shalone diceland uh got married this weekend that wasn't her original last name. It wasn't weird or anything like that, but that's her new name. Um, so congratulations to them. That was congratulations. A, it was a good time. It was a very small wedding, but I had fun. Good. Yeah. Um, I officiated, which was cool. Now she's smelling where she rubbed her face. I was like, I was <laughs> like, she's getting into something over there. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I had to bring her with, so she was very anxious um, all weekend, basically staying in a hotel room. It was funny. Oh, you froze. Oh, no. Oh, it's no. fine. I yeah, kept talking. <laughs> um, huh? I said I kept talking, so hopefully the recording will be fine. Um, I cannot begin to explain how unnerving it is to smell anxiety on a dog mm. just when they start like sweating and just putting out like an anxious scent and it's like it's like wet dog yeah but not great well <laughs> wet dog isn't great either but <laughs> you know what i mean what about you how was your week uh my week was awesome you know i've been uh taking my time home uh with the baby my paternity leave uh oh shit i was totally gonna put him in his nerd outfit and i'll fuck uh i'll do it next week maybe <laughs> or maybe i'll just post the picture to our website yeah, or something. i don't we'll know still post anyways yeah he's upstairs with mom um but I've been going stir crazy, so I hmm. keep coming up with projects for myself to do uh, <laughs> to keep me somewhat sane. And this has been the outcome of one of those projects. I made a guitar, a Spider Man guitar. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a uh, Miles Morales. Uh, if you're not watching, go check it out on YouTube. Um, I think it turned out really well. Sorry, I'm trying to get the handle in there. Because, ah, didn't mean to strum that. My bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I got some there. Um, it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. This is uh, my old beat-up guitar that I had for, uh, God, I don't even know, like a million years. <laughs> and it was, like, falling apart, and I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, so I turned it into an art piece. Uh, but even though it is an art piece, it is a fully functional art piece. So you can play it, um, but I probably won't. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I am working on some more guitars. As you can see, there is a unbuilt guitar in the background here. Um, I have another one on the way. This is something that I might start doing. So if it's something any of you are interested in, whether it's you want me to build one 
like this that comes in pieces and I put it together myself and paint it. Or you have a beat up guitar that you don't use and haven't touched in years and you want it to look cool. Let me know because I'll fix it up for you and do something cool with it. Yeah. Um, other than that, is that all I had? I think that's all I had. Oh, I have a tattoo coming up. I'm getting my like chest tattooed from like shoulder to shoulder and like my neck down to my almost my belly button. Uh, that's on Friday. Chad will be driving me to that appointment because I don't think I'll be able to drive home after. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's exciting. Maybe Chad will hopefully get tattooed. If they can fit me in, I don't have anything scheduled, but as a walk-in while we're there, but oh, yeah. frozen. I'm gonna keep, no. but yeah, yeah, keep going. That's what, that's all I got. That was okay. it. That was really all I had. I, the tattoo, the guitar. I mean, it's it's a hobby. Worst case scenario, nobody wants to buy a guitar from me, and I made some cool guitars for myself and for you. Yeah, yeah. Because be awesome. your birthday is coming up, and I'm making you one. Yeah, I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it so that people can see it. Because I just noticed that my one idea was to hang it on my door, but that's behind my head. Well, you could move the ukulele and that shelf. I could. And then put it there. I could do that. I'll do that. And take off that mirror that has no purpose. <laughs> it was when I had more stuff right there, and that's where like the IR receiver for my lights are, so I could just like point the remote at the mirror, and it would hit it. But now it's just I... a keyboard, so I just point it. You could works. move your ukulele where the skateboard is. Move the skateboard, and then put that shelf. I don't know somewhere else. I've got and then you would there. have all yeah, plenty of room to hang the guitar right there. Yeah, I might put the ukulele closer to my desk because that's when I get the itching. Is like I'm like oh I have a moment break. No, so. that itching is actually uh, venereal disease. Um. Yeah, not herpes, though, because it's not herpes if it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the herp. He does. Well, if you guys enjoy this sort of <laughs> podcast and like talking about nerdy shit like we do or think we're funny and entertaining uh, and you want to become a supporter, the best way to do that is to go to buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. It's a monthly subscription. You can choose how much you give. Um, but based on how much you give, you get some cool perks. Everything from member-exclusive merch to stickers, group chats with us, the opportunity to come on the show. Um, for <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes, first announcements, things like that. It's pretty rad. Again, that's buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. Good. Did I make a funny? <laughs> he did make a funny. <laughs> Tell him about what we have coming. Thanks. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> uh, from Marty. Oh, well, we got our new website coming uh, from Digitech. Digitech. Digitech Tech. God, why he made such a hard. It's not hard. You just struggle. <laughs> oh, the best Lord part is say. you froze. <laughs> um, anyways, so did you. I mean, I mean, we both froze. It's, I mean, at least you froze on my end. I don't know. It's a mutual freezing. Yeah. It's just frozen. But the recording happens on my end. So. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, Digicat Tech is the name of the company. Uh, Marty is my cousin. He's running that company. Uh, he is building our website uh, that's not out yet, so it's not the website that we have at the moment. We will let you know when the new one is out, and you can use that for reference if you want somebody to build you a website for whatever your website needs may be. You could hit him up. Or uh, if you need and, a new marketing plan. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's doing a lot for us, and we're really excited about it. Uh, and we'll let you know when that's going into effect. We're kind of still working out the details, but it's coming soon. Woo. Woo. I got through it. <laughs> <laughs> Just stumbled over myself <clears throat> like five times. We're good. Yeah, it happens. Um, also, the 
SAG and Writers Guild strike continues, which is super depressing. And it it's it's not great. Um So there is a link in our show notes if you want to help. Um I saw online that some of the bigger name actors that are in the SAG uh union are like auctioning off random shit just to raise money for the entire fund which is kind of cool some of them are fucking wild like having um adam scott come and walk your dogs if you live in the la area like random stuff like that it's kind of cool yeah do you get a walk with adam scott i'm sure you probably could or do you have to like put a collar on and (laughs) pump his leg a little bit I mean, you're paying for it. <laughs> All right. So they're whores. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We fully support the all of this. I've made and what's a cool is like the joke. the big name actors that are auctioning off these crazy things. Like they're not the ones that are hurting. Yeah. You know, they're doing this so that they can give back more, create experiences for fans, while still supporting their fellow working actors and stuff like that, which is really cool. It is really cool. Sorry about the joke. God. It was funny. I thought I would funny. still pump Adam Scott's leg <laughs> if he was walking my dogs. <laughs> and then I'd tell him to lick my butthole. <laughs> if he do- uh, Don't get that joke. Shame on you. But <laughs> please. You see these abs? I've had a carb in eight years. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just ask him if he has shoulder pain. <laughs> um, the other... I mean, the Vikings played on Thursday. The Minnesota Vikings. And they lost again. It's getting real hard to be a Minnesota Vikings fan. And it's only week two. I know, <laughs> but it's year 36 for me anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's week two of year 36. It sucks. It, the most disappointing thing is for two of the quarters of the game, they played so fucking well. Like if they could just, I don't know, play a full game. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it would be something to be reckoned with. Yeah. Minnesota's always been that team that comes back in the second half. And it's like, can you guys just not? Can you just do that the whole time? Yeah. Please? Be. Please. be, Be good like this, but like then also. (sighs) <sighs> now for Sorry. some nerdy news. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at my fantasy like while you were talking about football. I was like, maybe I check, check that out real quick. <laughs> well, the live action One Piece has officially got the green light for season two, which is awesome. We don't know when it's going to start. I know that they have tons of source material to go on, so that shouldn't be that that wild um once they can actually go back to start writing and filming and stuff like that what's crazy is this show like the episodes for this show are more expensive than the episodes of game of thrones yeah just to put into perspective <clears throat> on what's going on what's average, going on with this yeah. show yeah this the show is fucking rad yeah it's what like they averaged like 18 million per episode for one piece and game of thrones Averaged about 15. 15, yeah. I think there was one episode, the one where the the free folk climb the wall in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that entire like battle scene and stuff like that, I think, is like the most expensive episode of television ever at like $36 million. But... 
Nice. Frozen, but yeah, <laughs> it was a frozen climb. So I'll just try to incorporate <laughs> that into you. Uh. Sweet. Um, and the the writers and showrunners for One Piece have said that they are hoping for like twelve seasons, which would be wild. I don't know how wild. they're gonna do it because that's gonna take so much time, and the actors would be... are gonna start aging out well into my 40s if that was the case <laughs> yeah while that show is wrapping up i would be like at the end of my 40s <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. yikes please don't do that if you do do 12 seasons do do <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> we're adults he's a father <laughs> Just make them a little faster than one season per year, if that's going to be the case. Yeah. <laughs> He's a father. Also, there's been rumors for a <laughs> long time that uh, Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian, a younger Lando, uh, was going to be developed as a TV show. Now it's going to be a movie take that for what it is i love donald glover i thought that he played a uh, young lando really well in the solo movie but i don't know how much of a want people and fans really have for this movie i mean I'd i love it. lando Calrissian. oh i would definitely watch it but hmm. well we'll uh, see yeah we in, also in that case this i'm is... glad that it's a movie not a show because just yeah i don't have as much want for a Show. sorry Continue. also just a rumor as of right now but daphne keen uh who you would remember from logan um who plays x23 logan's clone x sorry slash daughter um <laughs> uh is in talks to join the cast of deadpool 3 i assume as a cameo We've been talking about this for a very long time that we would both be okay with the new, uh, Jesus Christ, the new Wolverine going forward being Daphne Keen X-23. That would be amazing. Um, but I'm assuming this is just going to be a cameo, uh, and they have yeah. other plans for Wolverine. Yeah, but. they were in negotiations before the strike started, so it's not confirmed, but... yeah. That'd be sweet. I'd love to see her back. I I would just love her to be the Wolverine going forward. I yeah, and I, I love Daphne Keen in general. She's in Frozen. Cool. Um, his Dark Materials, which is the uh, TV version of Golden Compass. Compass. Oh no, yeah, nothing. Yeah, she's so that those are the. I don't have many references for her because she was very young when she started Logan. And the only thing yeah, I saw her in debut. after that was his Dark Materials, and I think they're two or three seasons deep now. But she's fantastic in it. Um, and I would very much like to see her come back. Yeah, let's go. That'd be sweet. Also this past week, we got the Aquaman to the, the Lost Kingdom trailer. And it looks... Yeah, not... I think the trailer showed everything that might be either funny or cool about the movie. Yeah. Especially because that's exactly how The Flash was. It's going to be trash. And it seems like they kind of forgot about this movie. Cause I said, oh, you sent me that. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I was like, I just saw like a, th oh, that was from you. Never mind. Yeah. You already know. Uh, <laughs> but what's hilarious. What? Go for it. We, oh, yeah. Okay. You're giving me the honors? Yeah, I am. Oh, man. Well, during both, there's two trailers out now. So I saw a separate one yesterday, I think. Or maybe it was today during the game, one of the football games. It's but just a I've shortened two, version. I've seen two separate trailers for this movie. <clears throat> Not one trailer has shown at least her face. Not one trailer has shown Amber Heard. There's like <laughs> a couple parts in like the official like trailer where you can see her 
Uh, like, but they don't right, like red it's, hair, but like the glass in front of her face is cracked, so you can't see her <laughs> face. But or it's like her head turned or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that fucking cracks me up, because um, Justice for Johnny and all that, you know? We yeah. were, were on that train. Um, we called yeah. it very early on, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, to, to the point yeah, where so, we got hate for it when we were a, we brand, did. We were we a lost, brand new podcast. <laughs> we lost a um, guest because of our... Yeah, we did. Remember? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, you know. But it's okay to be wrong sometimes. Yeah. Whoever, I mean, whoever we you were. weren't. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's awesome. Go on. It's awesome being <laughs> us. Uh, <laughs> uh, we did get a like an episode listing for What If season two. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if we should really spend a ton of time on our theories of what the episodes are going to be. Hard um, <laughs> What? Oh, you froze again. Oh. <laughs> so I just said, power through, brother. <laughs> but we'll at least mention what the episodes are titled. Starting with episode one is, what if Gamora killed Thanos? Mm-hmm. Uh, episode two, what if the Tesseract landed in Confederacy before USA colonization? Uh, that's like a... I didn't write them down word for word. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but basically, you know, before the colonizers arrived. But that's supposed to introduce us to uh, a new... Marvel's... Sorry. Yeah. Nope. Just a, no, a, you go. a new hero, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's Kahori? Or, uh, you didn't write it down? No, I... Jesus Christ, it's Chad. It's K-A-H-H-O-R-I. You had one job! But she's a, a Native American uh, a hero, which is pretty sweet. And it's a uh, completely unique... Yeah, you froze again, so we yeah. were talking at the same time. <laughs> this is going to be a weird episode. We are having some unfortunate issues. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we did skip over um, one, which is a continuation from season one, is what if Captain Carter uh, finds <laughs> autocorrect, changed Hydra to Hydrogen uh, Stomper, <laughs> finds the Hydra Stomper, um, kind of from the end credit scene in animation from season one. Um, and then the next episode four yeah. is... What if Hank... And um, Janet fought Red Guardian. Uh, if you know, that's David Harbour. He's our boy. He's over here somewhere on the wall. It's just too dark to see him. But uh, David Harbour's Red Guardian in the 1980s, which I think that would be a fun one. That would be sweet. Um, and then what if Yandu actually delivered Star-Lord to Ego? That would be dope. That'd be dope. Uh, and then episode six, I believe, is what if Happy Hogan uh, saved Christmas in Iron Man 3? Don't know what that means, but it's going to be a holiday episode, clearly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Followed up by an even dumber thing. This trope of <laughs> all these shows needing to put in a musical number um, or episode is what if Wanda grew up watching musicals instead of sitcoms? Um, and then episode... Eight, I think. Eight oh. is what if yeah. Odin and Heel... Your typing is terrible. It's supposed to be Hella? It's autocorrect, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't uh, double check. It's it's Odin and Hela uh, had faced Wenwu, which is... Um, Shang Chi's dad, uh, the who had the ten rings, uh, that would I. That's probably That'd out of this list. I know there's one more, uh, and I'll let you say that in a second. I just out of this entire list, that's probably the one that seems the most appealing to me. Yeah, that one looks like it's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, I am very excited for episode three with the Tesseract and pre-US. Yeah, Germany. that'll be interesting. 
Um, yeah. I don't know. And the the Yandu delivering Star Lord to you. Yeah, that like one will be how cool much does that fuck everything? <laughs> yeah. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> but there's one more episode. And that's what if the Avengers had fought uh, Sartar? 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 Sartar. Sartar? He's the big demon. He's the big demon guy from. from, Did you see that? No. Okay, never mind. He's the big demon guy from uh, (laughs) Thor Ragnarok. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) My face like went like like really fast, and I was like, (laughs) like scared me. But I mean, I I loved the first season of What If, so I'm excited for these. I mean, I am too. There's, There's not a couple that any I'm less excited of, for, but I get no mentions of Spider Man anywhere in here, and that's kind of bumming me out because I really liked uh, Spider Man with um, Doctor Strange's cape. I thought that was dope. Cloak, sorry, not the yeah. cloak of invisibility. Um, Wrong <laughs> franchise. I know. Uh, but yeah and then one just last kind of nerd news uh, that we we saw it like last second so that's why it's down here instead of up at the top when we were talking about it but (laughs) there is a rumor that Carl Urban will be playing a variant of Wolverine in Deadpool 3 we know that this is going to be one of those multiverse kind of situations um and we're getting a lot of a lot of different rumors uh daniel radcliffe is apparently maybe you know but this one excites me a little bit because carl urban was uh fan fan casted as who people wanted Mm -hmm. to take over for wolverine uh this also happened with john krasinski trying to hold out for this freeze that shit happened so yeah. <laughs> i assume it'll just be a cameo but yeah can you hear me at least still yeah now i can okay but you couldn't hear me when i was talking about no, that but then i mentioned Kron- john krasinski just in case so okay cool <laughs> yeah so fuck. this is really <laughs> pissing me off uh when we hit our break we can both like restart our computers to hopefully okay yeah Speaking of getting to our break, let's talk about our first sponsor. It's our temporary um, sponsoring collaboration with Nordic Brew Pub, based out of Monticello, Minnesota. Tell them about it, Jake. You tell them about it. I got the next sponsor, Dum Dum. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Nordic Brew Pub, we uh, partnered up with them. Love you. I uh, love you too. Uh, <laughs> But fuck you. Uh, (laughs) We partnered up with them uh, for the month of September. Basically, if you're local to the Twin Cities or even central Minnesota uh, and make your way to Monticello to Nordic Brew Pub and show that you are a fan of the show, whether you are subscribed to our audio only podcast, follow us on Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. uh, Your first beer is on us. Um. They have all kinds of awesome beers, um, ranging from, uh, they have a Pilsner, I think they have a Milk Stout, last time we were there. Um, my favorite is the Dankweed IPA. Um, Dank Wagon. Dank, did I say Dankweed? I did. <laughs> dank Wagon. It's some Dankweed, bro. <laughs> the Dank Wagon, uh, that shit's bomb. Uh, now I feel dumb because it's my favorite <laughs> beer from them and I got the name wrong. Um, and then they also have like a, a berry infused wheat ale. They've got seltzers and just really good food. Mm-hmm. Um, can't speak on behalf of their burgers, but they look bomb. Um, but we don't eat meat. So, man. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, if you're in the area, check them out. Um, let us buy you your first beer. Um, yeah. all you have to do is prove to them that you like, follow and subscribe. Alrighty, everyone, like we said, we're going to start talking about Ahsoka Episode 5, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. I, I'm loving the show, and I know that Jake is 
not there yet. But it ben sounds like you like this episode more. I've been struggling with this show. Uh, I think it's only eight episodes, and we're on episode five. Yeah. Um, so I'm mad that we haven't gotten Thrawn yet. What's... That kind of pisses me off a little bit. Um, here's the thing. Dude, this episode was the strongest episode that we've had so far. Um, but was it good? I don't think so. Uh, it oh. just has all the same... I'm going to use your word here. It has all the same tropes that it's been <laughs> given given me from the beginning here is the dialogue is kind of shit. The fight scenes are kind of shit. Um, I have now that I have noticed it and pointed it out to myself and now pointed it out on this podcast, I cannot stop counting how many times they lock sabers and just stare at each other rather than fighting. And it pisses me the fuck off because I think that it's lazy. Like, one or two, sure. But, like, five or six I in, like, a two to three minute fight scene Go is... back and rewatch all of Star Wars then. I know. And, <laughs> yeah, and we talked about this earlier. And you said you would admit what? It's... Go this on. hurts me to say it. So much of the choreography is quite lazy. And it's never been strong for dialogue. And But I will I will give them that in the newer like I guess here I Okay. In the newer Star Wars movies like episode you know one through three right those yeah. are the anakin ones anyways so the visual effects were better and you froze no we tried and the saber fart farts <laughs> fights were <laughs> oh no the saber fights were so much faster and better than the originals which were in the 70s and they can be given some um relief because it wasn't their fault it was the 70s they couldn't do what they can do now. Uh, and so either the writers are trying to match that energy and be like, yeah, it wasn't good back then. Let's keep it dumb and boring now. <laughs> or they're lazy as fuck and they're just making dumb fight scenes that are boring. So either way, with the technology that they have now and whatever, they're making really boring fight scenes and it pisses me off. That being said, mm -hmm. the episode was kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> we got to see some cool stuff uh, with Anakin. I'll let you talk about that. And then, uh, that I mean, can you at least admit that Anakin wielding a lightsaber like, was incredible? Because he even did a lot of the moves that we saw in the prequels. Exactly, because it wasn't lazy writing, and they actually did some, like, choreography and stuff. And that his little behind-the-back oh, the thing... the prequels were definitely lazy writing, but the choreography was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. The, the fight scenes were a lot better. I just cannot... I mean, literally, if you're watching this show before... I mean, spoiler alert, but if you're watching this show, count in one fight scene how many times they fucking do this... And just fucking cross streams, yeah. Look at each other, and how long they hold that for? It's like, dude, this is not a fun lightsaber fight. This is dumb. <laughs> this is really, really straight dumb. up not having a good time. <laughs> yeah, I love I Star Wars as much as the next person, but this show, Sucks. I love it more. Is not <laughs> doing it for me. It's not doing it for me. Um, I was gonna say like that I really liked like Mandalorian and shit like that, and I was like, I don't really use lightsabers in that show, so the fighting sequences are better. It's a much more like Western, like just... gunslinger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, just listen to the fucking soundtrack, and you're like, I have this is a Western. 
I have I the have Mandalorian seen, soundtrack on vinyl. I have it's legitimately so seen on TikTok just a couple of nerdy kids in the fucking street in front of their house at nighttime put on better lightsaber fights than this <laughs> show has given us. And that makes me mad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, we're acknowledging that... I don't know if it was they overdid their mentality of, oh, everyone's older now, so they're not as nimble as they used to be. Which you could get away with if it was, like, still really good, but not as good. <laughs> you know, because... And we'll we'll get into this, because this episode actually explores uh, a fair amount of, like, the live-action aspect of the Clone Wars from Ahsoka's experience, mm -hmm. which was really awesome to see. And also very unnerving as you realize that she was like a teenager like she was mm -hmm. 14 during the clone wars and she was trained to be like a warrior and an assassin also shout out to ariana greenblatt uh who played young ahsoka if she looked familiar she also played uh <laughs> God damn autocorrect. Not young gamer, young Gamora um, in Infinity War. And she was also in the Barbie movie. She, she was... was also Conan the Barbarian. Oh, fucking autocorrect. Uh, <laughs> she was in the Barbie movie. Our bad. <laughs> it just adds words. Uh, <laughs> no, but she's been in a ton of huge projects. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. And... I mean, Endgame, Billion Dollar billion dollar project uh barbie billion dollar project i mean and then star wars which i mean it was a billion dollar project probably at some point but it's uh, fallen off a big time in this show. billion dollar uh, industry <laughs> let's put it that way it's its own thing i was just trying to take a shot at i you. know sorry you you did you succeeded red red i'm vader over here i'm the bad guy <laughs> Get it, gotta make it flash <laughs> But what was really cool was getting to see uh, Hayden Christensen as Anakin in his Clone Wars armor, mm -hmm. which was so fucking rad. Just in general, getting Hayden Christensen back because back then everyone hated on those movies I so shit hard. On those movies, and I feel bad saying yeah. that. It took me but a long time. He to just never them. got the appreciation that he deserved. For those movies, so I'm holding back the hiccups as I'm talking, my bad. <laughs> if you're wondering why I look like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> or uh, why you sound <laughs> like you're holding in the <laughs> biggest fart of your life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Hayden Christensen. One thing that I didn't notice in... Oh, you froze, so yeah, you're, right. you're probably still talking. Okay. Um, I didn't. I just said he was all right. One thing that I didn't notice until I saw a video about it was there was no reference to young Anakin during the prequels, right? And the writing was subpar, so what he did was he took the lines that he was given and, like, created the way that he spoke around it the way that James Earl Jones did Vader's, like, pacing. And once you, like, someone, like... They couldn't do Vader's voice, just like mimicking, but they just did like a deep voice to be like, this is Vader. And then they could kind of mimic Hayden's voice. But the way that he speaks, it that's how Vader spoke in the originals. Mm -hmm. And it just gave me so much more respect f for what he did with such... For lack of People a better term, bad writing. Uh yeah he could do and people shit all over it i i know the asthma joke i'm sorry uh for not acknowledging okay. it because it was that was funny um but like fans of our age like we shit on the prequels because we they asked we, you to we well we were 
<laughs> we were in that age. Huh, we were in that age where we grew up on the originals and the prequels came out and we were slightly too old to really appreciate that they were made for kids again. And now going back, it's like, I fucking love those movies. Yeah, a lot of fun. And we do get some really cool flashes, um, whether it's from oh yeah some yeah. some lightning or mm. blasters or explosions uh, of Anakin walking through debris, and then it flashes, and you see Vader's silhouette. So, I had actually had a question about that for you. So is because the way they made it seem was that Ahsoka was having like a vision of what he was going to turn into, or was it just like? the show being like here's some nostalgia both because um, she always, she looked like when like she would see that because it, it was from her perspective that yeah that was happening so it seemed like she was having like a vision of mm. uh what anakin was gonna turn into and yeah. she seemed like reluctant to like follow him after that exactly um it seemed because if you watched you froze. Keep talking. Oh, if Follow you oh. <laughs> if you, you watched froze. if you watched uh, like the Clone Wars animated series or Rebels, Ahsoka didn't know for years that Anakin survived and became Darth Vader. But when she learned, it traumatized her because like that was who was her mentor, and that was such a huge rift for her so now that she's seen him in the world uh between worlds she doesn't know how to like interact with him she doesn't know if she can trust him and they even get into that later in the episode so part of it was flashbacks to like reteach her lessons mm -hmm. because anakin has been redeemed because of luke and all that stuff because mm -hmm. the show takes place after return of the jedi um and they even talk even about that. Think about that. Yeah, so like it's from her perspective. Um, but when something traumatic happens, like a bomb going off and there's a flash of light, then she sees the darkness that Anakin turned to. That makes it. See, that's why I asked. That makes sense. Yeah. And it just. It's those things uh, for the fans of like the animated shows, too that like elevated this episode like i mean we're both in agreement that this was the best episode of the series yeah. or season i hope just mm -hmm. series i hope it's not like trying to stretch more and more and more but it kind of seems like it might um because thrawn is not a part of the sequels with daisy ridley and all those people um but i don't know i I feel like I'm rambling and just talking just like my nerd heart out and it's not making good content here, but I loved this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the um, content, brother. This is what we I, did. I know. That and, was the point of this podcast and when they get drunk and just talk shit. I think that for their lightsaber fight in the world between worlds when they're locking sabers... Mm. It provided some cool aspects. I know that that's something that has bothered you, but like seeing Anakin's eyes glow yellow with the Sith and even Ahsoka's eyes start to glow yellow as she wants to fucking kill him. And then she spares him and then her eyes like fade back. I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so well done. But you have to have... It's for the fan of, like, the extended universe that wasn't just the movies. Which is kind of what this entire show has been. You know, it's... Meh. <laughs> I didn't know how to finish that. I'm loving the show. But I understand why a lot of people aren't. 
That's fair and honest. Good job, bud. You admitted that Star Wars sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Star Wars. I just but think that shows... It's like watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier where you've only seen the Captain America films and you're like, what's going on? Right. But, but the fight coordination is amazing. I'll give you that. <laughs> I can agree to that. <laughs> um, I I love Star Wars. I'm just shitting on this show. I I partly am bullying just a little bit because I know how much Chad loves this, and I want to hurt his feelings a little Star bit. Star Wars is what made me a nerd. <laughs> uh, but also I just don't think it's that good. That's also your personal it's, opinion. It's no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're going to stop this spicy argument here and uh, talk about something actually spicy. Uh, <laughs> Mildly spicy, but delicious. <laughs> Sponsor number two, which is Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. It's a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes on practically anything. Listen up. We'll tell you more about it. Hey you nerds, do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, our good friends over at Crybaby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods, adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. I'm not ready. Okay. I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about, we're just going to, took a boot. Sorry, I don't know why that Tuka came out boot. so Canadian. <laughs> um, we are going to talk about 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 enunciate um <laughs> uh loki no. season one uh we're just going to kind of recap briefly because season two drops on october 6th which is very soon yeah like two and a half weeks something like that should have uh, a we're excited about this uh chad is frozen at the moment i've been having some issues anyways oh it's been so bad you were frozen so. Anyways, Loki, <laughs> season one. Uh, fucking bad. This is. I've 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 already said that this is probably my favorite Disney Plus Marvel uh, show so far. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Uh, the TVA, which we know, so the TVA are like the time variant authority. 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 Um, we, uh, or at least it's rumored, but also kind of confirmed, that the TVA is going to be a big part of Deadpool 3. Uh, because, mm -hmm. oh shit, I don't have her name pulled up. The girl oh. who plays Miss Minutes. Do you know her name Tara... off the top of your head? Something. Tara Hold on, Strong. I got it. Tara Strong. Yeah, Tara Strong. Yes. Uh, she is confirmed to be Miss Minutes in Deadpool 3. So we know they're like trying to be coy about it, but if you do a tiny bit, a little bit of research, you can find out the truth. And write that down. I was going to say, you're not just talking about this, are you? Huh, weird. <laughs> Google's um, free. <laughs> but this is really cool. Uh, so going into this second season of Loki... We know from the Ant-Man 3 end credit scene that Kang uh, is going to be a part of this season. I see it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Are you seeing it too? Yeah. Is it a I ghost? Am, am I going to die? I don't know. Talk to me. Should I not have done that? Did that freak you out? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the lights off in here? <laughs> um. What? It, oh, you know what it is? It's right underneath my camera. I bet you that's it. Oh. If I just move it over here. 
and then a person shows up behind me, then I'll kill myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kill yourself. I think that's what it maybe was or not. I don't know. We'll Anyways. find out. Yeah. I think it's just like you moving. Yeah, it totally is. Because, you know, because I turned this fucking thing on. Whatever. Tell them that joke, you know, I'm going to just shut this off. Cool. I thought it would be cool to have some light in here, but I guess I'm not allowed to have things I like. You can't have nice things. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so, and even from, like, the set photos, it kind of looks like they're, like, in the void. You know, kind of at, like, the end of time. Jake froze again, uh, which means I froze on his end, but I'm still going. Going strong, you know? Like Tara. Um, sorry, that was a really bad joke. Um, but we see, like, the, the 20th Century Fox logo and stuff like that in the background of some set photos, basically showing that the X-Men universe is dead. It's It's gone. Um... So we should also get, like, a lot of variants and stuff like that. But we want to talk about Loki. I got off on a tangent. Um, <laughs> yeah. TVA, bro. Yeah. The, the I only brought in Tara Strong because it's going to tie into yeah, it's, Deadpool 3. But yeah. and go that's, back. That's, yeah. like, the, the connecting dot to the MCU. But in Loki Season 1... Basically, the events of Endgame, when Loki gets the Tesseract uh, and escapes, is what sets this entire thing in motion. And we get to see some some variants of Loki from different timelines, different universes, things like that. It's been... It was really fun. This is easily one of the top MCU shows. Favorite character from season one, go. Mobius. Mobius, Mobius? and Mobius. Yeah. Wow. Croaky. Croaky. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they don't actually know if it actually is a variant of Loki. He just has a crown. Yeah, it's a crocodile. <laughs> it's just a crocodile. It doesn't talk. There's no proof. Oh, never mind. Frog uh, let Thor? me change mine. Let me change... Throg. Throg. I couldn't remember what... Uh, Adorable. Yeah. Just in a mason <laughs> jar buried underground. Just... Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, season one of Loki was so fucking good. Yeah. I cannot wait to watch season two. Uh, realistically, favorite character is also Mobius. Uh, Owen Wilson. He's just... Fucking his cool. performance is just... Wow. You know? And he never said wow. What was hilarious was there was multiple opportunities, and then he doesn't. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the roar. <laughs> <laughs> do the wow. <laughs> um, Shrek. <I'm> re- yeah. <laughs> That's my go. When I watch like a movie that really unnerves me, uh, Shrek is my go-to to feel better. He froze, so I finished his sentence. Make me for feel him. better. We'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> froze again. Ah, oh, it's making me so mad. I know. Anyways, yeah. But we are Super. getting Sylvie back. Mobius yep. is back. There's Kang gonna be seemingly m- is back. Kang, or at least his variants are going mm-hmm. to be a huge part across the entire season. From the, from here on out in Mar- the MCU, Kang is going to be a problem. At least Everywhere. until Secret Wars. And then we'll see what they do. What do you mean? Until the... Se- oh, until Secret the Wars is Secret after Wars. Kang yeah. Dynasty, right? Yeah, yeah okay, that's yeah. the part yeah. two. Yeah, I assume. I Dynasty. assume King Dynasty is gonna open up the doorway to like Galactus or like the actual big bad. You know what I mean? Like Kang is the big bad up until yeah the big. You know what I mean? Like 
Yeah. Like Loki was the big bad up until Thanos. Yeah. I think Kang is the big bad up until. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't watched this show yet, there's what? Only six episodes. Was it only six? That th- pisses me off. I think it was only six. It's been a while. Um, Hopefully season two is more than that. Oh, let's find out. Tell them that. There were so now. many cool little like quirks and fun. Like there's a part where they're like walking into um, a disturbance and they needed Loki's help to do it. And they're like walking into like a convenience store and like the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes and uh <laughs> sorry Garth Brooks sucks but <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh Loki like kind of jumps at the thunder but then like when the lightning goes he like looks, looks around like, like thinking smiles, maybe it's yeah. coming yeah uh cause at this point we know that Loki has seen that he has died at the hands of Thanos and that Thor cried over his dead body, so like he's missing that brotherly love. Yeah, that he like turned his back on for a little while. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah. Season one was only six episodes. Season two is only supposed to be six episodes. But But they're like an hour long. Yeah, they're all fifty minutes. The shortest one was the third episode, which was forty-five minutes, forty-two. Dicks. Yeah, dicks. We don't have projected time for season two for each episode, but I'm assuming that they're going to be about the same. Uh, it It's going to be wild because at the end of season one, everything was reset. When he went back to the TVA, everything was different. Mobius didn't know who the fuck he was. There was a statue of Kang inside of the TVA. Inside like, of the timekeepers. Yeah. Um, and the one thing, or a big thing, not the one thing, but a big thing that we're still waiting on is, is it Ramona? What is her name? Uh, yeah, Ramona. I think that was Ramona. Her. Yeah. She is Kang's love interest in the comics. So, at, and we R- saw Ravona. her. Ravona. Ravona. Ravana. Rav- Ravana. Oh, so close. But at the end of season one, she fucking yeets herself into oblivion, or who knows where the fuck she went. Um, and she is in season two. We just don't know what episode she'll be back for. Um, but her and Kang hopefully will meet because they are lovers in the lovers. comics. Lovers. So. Yeah, I, so I was so excited for season two before season one ended, and now yeah. it's just it was just such a of, cliffhanger, just yeah. out of reach, you know? Yeah, just like oh, uh, yeah. I can't wait to make my kid watch all of this shit. <laughs> There's so much to watch. Oh yeah, you want to watch a movie, bud? <laughs> Iron Man, two thousand eight, ready. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get to Infinity War, you have to make him wait the year. You have to. <laughs> That's mean. I don't think the only reason I wouldn't do that to him is because by then, if I if when while rewatching it, I won't be able to wait. <laughs> they knew nope, we're watching it <clears throat> now. Make him wait like a week, like a day maybe. Fine. All right, bedtime, bud. And then when he like comes home from school, or maybe not, we'll see. Preschool or daycare. Yeah. Like, let's watch Endgame. And I'll be like, no! <laughs> clean your room first. <laughs> and then you'll help him clean his room so that you can yeah. get to watch Hurry the up! movie earlier. <laughs> Mom's <Faster! laughs> getting home soon. we got to get this started. <laughs> <laughs> but... Wow, we got off track. All right, uh... Like I was trying to say, you know, it's only six episodes and they're an hour long. You have three weeks for our listeners. If you haven't watched season one, you have plenty of time to watch it for the first time or for fans like us. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna wait about a week 
Oh, you froze, so I don't know how you interjected. Definitely um, restarting. Oh, yeah. you froze again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I lo- getting so I love mad. this part of our <laughs> back and forth when we have issues uh, because we say the same thing, but we can't hear it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait. Re-watching. Like a, I'll probably wait until like the th- Thursday or Friday of the week before and like watch it through the weekend. Yeah, but you'll binge it. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get through like, like two or three episodes per night. I'll unless I watch it like it during now. the week then I can do like one a night. Oh, you the heard hell that? What was that? What was that? Uh, is this Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> it was probably someone that like myself also drives a Honda Civic but with a busted ass muffler just burning <laughs> rice. <laughs> I, that's wild that you heard that, but when my fire alarm was going off I, earlier, nothing, you couldn't. Nothing. Yeah. And since that's then, I put nice. blankets over my window so that you don't see the sunset coming through. Oh, that's uh, funny. Uh, <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh, uh, we're apartment funny, life. damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, season two comes out October sixth. Get on this shit now, right now, okay? Now. Because if you don't, you know, <laughs> like that's my best impression. I'm sorry, I'll kill myself. Because uh, <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> then you'll watch it and be like, wow, "Wow, I don't know what's going on." <laughs> so just do it now. <laughs> just. Any word with an O in it would just enunciate it uh, that way. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, God. <laughs> There's two O's. I didn't know how to do it. I fucked up. That's I'm okay. sorry. That's okay. We forgive you. It's fine. I have uh, Katana all seppuku later. Uh, <laughs> We're going to close this episode out before we keep getting weirder. <laughs> But before we close out this episode, we do want to talk about our honorable mentions. Chad, what do you have? Unfortunately, not a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, this week, I because I went to the wedding and I officiated, you know, I had to spend some time, like, making sure that that was all ready to go. But I did watch Fanboys because you were talking about it. Um, and... I love that movie. It's so I love that movie, God. too. I forgot how many cameos there are in There's that movie. so many. And so many, like, off-the-cuff, just, like, Star Wars quotes. And Star Trek. And Star Trek, yeah. There's a lot of Star Trek, like, shit in that, too, which is funny because they, like, shit on Star Trek in that movie. Yeah. But there's, like, a lot of Star Trek, like, But, like, the prequels references. of Star Wars would not have been as interesting or in depth if star trek didn't exist at the same time yeah. because why would they ever talk about an intergalactic senate unless star trek did it first um right. <laughs> i know star wars just ripping off everything um well I, like even even I the part this. where and like they're the star trek haters but like the part where they're like full speed engage you know, yeah. like that's from Star Trek. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and and the fact that they geek out when they meet William Shatner. Yeah. Like it's, it's all in good fun. The movie is hilarious. Yeah. I just love that. I don't have his name pulled up, but uh, one of the guys who's the the main guy who has cancer. Um, spoiler alert. Um. When he's leaving the hospital and his doctor is Carrie Fisher. Yeah. And he's like, we have to go. Oh, that guy. And she, like, hands him, like, his prescription. She's like, this is what you need to do. And he's like, he, like, grabs her face, kisses her, and he's like, I love you. And she's like, I know. Yeah. She's like, so good. Chris Marquette. And what's Linus. Linus. Linus is the one that is sick. I just watched this. I should have known this. But, um... And then also while I was in Wisconsin for the wedding, uh, there was just a Harry Potter marathon on cable. So I just 
turn that on for noise for my dog in the in the hotel room while I wasn't there. So I watched most of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and a fair amount of Chamber of Secrets. And it just, it's that time of year to where I'm gonna rewatch them anyways, because it's like a once a year sort of thing, but. So I'm that's... like reading the cameos for Billy D. Williams, um, the guy. Peter, Peter Mayhew. I'm trying to figure out who he played. That's the guy who is Chewbacca. He was in the movie Fanboys. I'm trying to figure out who Holy he was shit. in Fanboys. Well, I know, like, I know who Peter Mayhew is, but who was he one of the was he one of the Trekkies? I bet he was. They, or sure he was actually at Comic Con because there's someone in a Chewbacca costume at the Comic Con. That would be probably pretty accurate. That would be just hilarious because you would never know that it was him. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Billy D. Williams, uh, you know, as the that's, judge. Um, yeah, that Shooter McGavin is yeah, Butler's Shooter McGavin. dad. Both uh, Jay and Silent Bob, Jason Mewes, and, um, and they basically Kevin play Smith. their same characters. Only Silent Bob talks. Ethan Suppley. I mean, yeah. Uh, Seth Rogen plays three different people. Yeah, that's it's wild. Yeah, to I, the point. I mean, I where knew it was a wild cast. But fight I each didn't. other. <laughs> Who's this fucking motherfucker? Who the fuck are you? Uh huh. <laughs> All right, I'm getting carried away. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, also, uh, the guy that <clears throat> was the the body for Darth Maul. Oh my god. Ray. Oh yeah! Oh, I just I just closed it. I just closed yeah. it. Yeah, he he also played uh, the Toad in X Men. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he, yeah. he's one of the security guards, and uh, I think it's either Jay Baruchel or the guy who plays Butler grabs uh, Darth Vader's lightsaber, Anyways. and yeah. Sorry, yeah. you froze for oh. a second, so I just kind of like ran with it. Oh, I was like looking at my screen over here. I didn't even realize I froze. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, oh god, that movie is so fun. Um, anyways, uh, what about you? What do you have for uh, yeah. <laughs> for honorable mentions? Um, I got a few. Um, Donnie Darko. Mm. I mean, the Jalen Halls, the Gallon Halls. If you're my girlfriend, that's how she pronounces it. Uh-huh. Uh, so she's wrong. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I love Donnie Darko. Uh, such a good such movie. a good but like mind fuck of a movie yeah. um uh talk to me we watched talk to me which is that's it's that the scary movie the a, 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 a 24 whatever yeah. yeah where did you shake the hand of like a this demonic like hand or cursed hand and then you get possessed for a while and like this group of kids like do it as like a party trick basically Mm -hmm. Um, and you can like let a demon like possess you for a short while then you like knock their hand away and blow out a candle and then you lose the connection Um, shit goes sideways at some point and this movie it wasn't like wasn't jump scary it wasn't gory Particularly, there were a couple parts that I was like, <laughs> but uh, uh <laughs> but there, that w- by the time the movie ends, and I won't ruin it for you, uh, because if you haven't watched it, seriously watch it. But by the time the movie ended, I just went, I, didn't, I don't like the way I feel right now. <laughs> that like that rubbed me the wrong fucking way, uh. And that's what I like in a horror movie. Um, I it just made me like Nicole ha- normally takes the baby up to bed after we watch a movie because I like to stay up a little bit. And she's like, "Okay, we're gonna go to bed," and blah blah blah. And so I was like sitting in the basement by myself for a little while, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs." I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not feeling this vibe tonight. Uh, 
<clears throat> and the last one is Interview with the Vampire, starring uh, Jacob. Fuck, I. What was it, Jacob? Jacob? Jacob Anderson? No, it's not Anderson. Mister Anderson. Raleigh Ritchie. Raleigh Ritchie. Um, so, yeah, it is Anderson. You're right. It is Anderson. Okay, Jacob Anderson. Oh, no. Bad time uh, to freeze. A.K.A. Raleigh Ritchie. Oh, I froze. Oh, I froze. <laughs> okay. Uh, AKA Jacob Anderson. A.K.A. Raleigh Ritchie. A.K.A. A.K.A. Grey Worm from... A.K.A. Um, A.K.A. A.K.A. Yeah. Winnie the Bish. <laughs> Winnie the Bish, yeah. It's not Winnie the Bish. Um, he's... a extremely talented musician we've talked about mm-hmm. him on this podcast before Love he's a talented actor you know him from game of thrones as gray worm uh and now in this re mass or reimagined um tv show based on uh what's her name what's her name what's her name you have it pulled up still uh, I can... and Anne rice it's Anne rice she's the one who wrote the book uh, interview with the vampire, right? It's uh, Anne Rice. I know it is. I believe you. I'm just it, googling it. The all the things that pop up are for the movies. <laughs> yeah, Anne Rice. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Look at you go. Uh, I know. Uh, I love the movie. <laughs> it's like you're the a movie, nerd or something. <laughs> the movie was Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Antonio Banderas, and Christian Slater. Chris- Kirsten, oh yeah, Christian Slater, he's the reporter, and Kirsten Dunst when she was like a little kid. Um, this show is uh, Jacob Anderson, uh, and I think he plays or is supposed to be playing. Lestat. Um, right? No, Lestat is the French guy, blonde. Oh, okay, I believe you. Yeah, I I believe that Jacob Anderson is playing Brad Pitt's character. Uh, Lestat would have been played by Tom Cruise's character oh, in the Louis movie. Oh, Louis de Pornelac. Yeah, that yeah. is Brad Pitt's. Uh, it is a little bit of a slow start. And if you're not a douchebag and you don't mind just some male-on-male love, which you shouldn't because who gives a shit? Yeah, uh, it's love. It is a fantastic show. And... The ending of the first episode, I was, like, getting a little bored because I was, like, not much has really happened. And last five minutes of the first episode, I was, like, holy shit. Holy shit. And uh, I've been just sucked in ever since. (laughs) Not (laughs) intentionally making a vampire reference, but I did anyway. How's that? Proud of you. That's it. That's what I got. Go watch it. Uh, I think you can find it. It's a AMC Plus TV show, but if you have Paramount Plus, that's where I've been watching it. Uh, the ho- entire first season is on there, and uh, I'm only like Prime three Video. Away. Prime Video. Not, oh, perfect. Not, not Paramount. My bad. So I've been watching and it, it on Prime. Also says on Max. Who's a good boy? Oh, froze. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's something that I've been meaning to watch, and unfortunately, when it's usually not like a nerdy or a comfort thing, or like from a director that I already know that I'm just gonna love, I unfortunately sometimes let you be the one to do the <laughs> viewing first with some of those things, even though happy the, to do in it. The past, because you also watched Heart of Stone this past week, right? Or was that last week? And that movie was... Last week. Hot trash. God awful. Um, Hot trash. I tried to say nice things about it, but it it was ultra diet, Mission Impossible. Um, it was the worst green screen fucking shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, it wasn't great cotton. Um, (laughs) sorry, (laughs) we're not going to dive into that right now, but if you like the show and what we're doing, please, please, uh, subscribe. If you're in a position to give us your money, we would love that. Um, the best way to do that is go to buymeacoffee.com slash all things nerd. You can pick 
the level at which you wish to give at. Um, we don't profit from this. It goes directly back into the show. And then if we start making more money, it'll start uh, paying our unpaid interns. Um, they're not actually interns. They're just volunteering their time, but they should get paid because they do a lot for us. Um, again, that's buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. If you don't want to give on a monthly basis, lame. Um, but you can <laughs> always go to... It, I'm never not going to say that. It's, it's always so funny. funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just go to allthingsnerdpodcast.com. That's our website connected to our web store. Um, so if you're going to give us some money, even if it's a one-time purchase, get something out of it. You know, we give it back. Um, it's, a, that's another great way to do it. And if you don't want to give us your money also lame, but we love you anyways. And so just like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Tell the nerds in your life how funny we are. And we still love you, whether you pay or not. And this has been the All Things Nerd Podcast. Thank you.